hello everyone welcome back to another new video of cracksoid in today's video i'm going to give you an in-depth review of newly released version of pixel OS, which is running on latest android 14. also i'll showcase its performance benchmark score like antutu and geekbench 6 and i'll also explore its every customization settings also i'll look for any potential bugs so stick around to find out if i'll find any bugs in this room so without wasting any more time let's get started so as you can see this is the redmi note 9 pro max device with the latest android 14 on it it has the android security update of april 5 2024 and the kinesis kernel is used in this room kernel su support first let's see if this room lets you use kernel su which helps with advanced stuff like tweaking your phone setting we checked with the kernel su app and it says unsupported for pixel OS. that means if you want to use kernel su you will need to add a special kernel to your phone antutu benchmark score now we are checking how fast the phone is with antutu benchmark pixel OS got a great score of 410800 which beats the c android rom score of 392954 so pixel OS seems to perform really well geekpen 6 score next we are looking at another test called geekpen 6 pixel OS got 769 for single core and 1853 for multi core compared to c android rom 758 for single core and 1833 for multi core pixel OS is a bit better in performance user experience now let's talk about how it feels to use pixel OS. it's not very customizable but it runs smoothly without any annoying delays opening and closing apps feels really smooth too i am curious to know what you think about how fast apps open and close and overall how you find using pixel OS. launcher let's look at the pixel OS launcher the home screen settings it's pretty basic just like what you'd expect from a pixel phone there aren't many options to change things around but it keeps things simple wallpapers and styles now let's talk about the wallpapers and launcher feature in pixel OS. just like with other custom rooms pixel OS keeps things simple here too which isn't surprising in the home settings you will only find two options themed icons and app grid the maximum grid size you can choose is 5 into 5 as for wallpapers there's a variety available including ai generated wallpapers and emoji workshop wallpapers moving on to the lock screen you will discover nine different clock styles you can pick from it's a neat touch that sets pixel os apart you can even customize the size and color of the clock everything in this section works smoothly additionally there's a shortcut section below allowing you to set shortcuts on both the left and right sides of the lock screen I noticed a unique shortcut for the video camera which adds a little twist compared to the regular camera shortcut. Quick settings. Now let's quickly check out the quick settings panel in Pixel OS. At the top you'll notice the brightness bar which comes with the auto brightness icon by default and unfortunately you cannot change how it works. Talking about the quick setting style there's a bunch of them available some of which are pretty handy while others might not be useful for everyone. You can see the full list of quick setting tiles offered by this room and arrange them however you like based on your preferences. Settings Alright, let's dive into the settings section to see what Pixel OS has to offer. Unlike some other custom rooms that are packed with customization features, Pixel OS keeps things simpler. So if you are someone who loves tweaking every little detail of your phone, you might not find as many options here. However, don't let that discourage you. Pixel OS still provides all the essential settings you need to personalize your device and make it work the way you want. Network and Internet So let's check out the network and internet settings. Here you will find the option for private DNS which allows you to manually set DNS providers. Although Pixel OS doesn't come with pre-included DNS providers, you can easily type them in yourself. For instance, I have chosen to use the AdGuard DNS provider for added security. Additionally, if you navigate back, you will come across the network traffic indicator option. This feature comes in handy when you want to keep track of the amount of data being transmitted or received over your network, whether it's Wi-Fi or mobile data. It's a useful tool for monitoring your data uses and ensuring you stay within your limits. Battery 
Let's take a closer look at the battery settings now. Here you will find 5 different options and what stands out to me is the separate option for enabling or disabling the battery percentage display. It's great to see this feature included because it's incredibly useful. It's surprisingly absent in many custom rooms. However, one aspect that disappoints me is the absence of an extreme battery saver option in the battery saver settings. I personally consider this feature essential, especially when the battery is critically low. On a positive note, Pixel OS offers an interesting feature called charging control, allowing you to customize your phone's charging behavior. With this feature enabled, you can choose between three modes, automatic, custom, and limit. In automatic mode, the phone decides when to start charging based on alarm set. On the other hand, in limit charging mode, you can set a specific percentage value and the phone will stop charging beyond that point. This is crucial for preserving battery health by preventing overcharging, which can degrade the battery over time. Additionally, there are custom schedule options that might seem confusing at first, but I'll explain so listen carefully. In the custom option, you can set a target time for your device to be fully charged. For example, if you want your phone to be fully charged only by 6 am in the morning, you can set this target time. And similarly, from here you can set the start time for when this feature should activate. If you are still unsure, feel free to rewatch this part to clear up any confusion. Display setting. Now let's explore the display settings. Firstly, there is the screen timeout option allowing you to set how long your screen stays on before it automatically turns off. Next, there is a screen attention option which prevents your screen from turning off if it detects that you are looking at it. This can be handy if you are reading something and don't want the screen to go dark. Lastly, there is a tap to sleep option enabling this allows you to double tap on the status bar or anywhere on the lock screen to turn off the screen. It's worth noting that if you enable this feature, it applies to both actions and you cannot have it work for one and not the other. Security and privacy. Moving on to the security settings, you will find various options for device unlock methods including PIN, pattern, password and fingerprint. Interestingly, the pattern unlock offers a larger 6 into 6 sized pattern which can be convenient for some users. However, one surprising omission is the absence of a setup option for face unlock in this version. Face unlock can be a convenient and secure way to unlock your device, so its absence here is a bit disappointing. Additionally, under the more security section, there is an option called ignore windows secure flag. This feature allows you to capture screenshots and record your screen while using any apps, which can be useful in certain situations, but may raise privacy concerns for some users. Conclusion After using and observing this room for about a week, I found that this Pixel OS is simple yet effective. It is specially made for those people who like to have a basic interface on their phone and doesn't have any concern with the customization options. This room provides you a stable performance and smooth user experience on a daily basis. And one more thing you may have noticed that I didn't showcase any bugs part today because I didn't face any bug in this room after I installed this room. But if I really had to point out the issue then I found one little issue while editing a 30 minute 4k video in this room. The editing part was not smooth like others, but other than this, everything is working properly in this room. And also, there were some missing features like face unlock and extreme battery saver. If those doesn't bother you, then you can definitely try out this room. And one thing I forgot to mention that this room does not come with a MI camera, instead it comes with aperture camera. So you can also give this room a try if you want to use a stable and smooth room for long term use. So that's the wrap for this video. I hope you found this video informative and if you like my video then don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below, share this video and subscribe to my channel. Also hit the notification bell. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.